Hi guys and welcome to my channel Blu-ray Ben. Uh, first off I just want to say a Merry Christmas to everyone. I'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded but it's going to be just before Christmas. So I hope you have a great Christmas wherever you are or whatever you celebrate and also a Happy New Year and hopefully 2021 will be better than 2020 because at least for me it's been a bit of a bit of a bad year with the coronavirus and things like that. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all of the Christmas movies I have in my collection and I'm actually really excited about this video because I did a similar video 12 months ago showing you my Christmas movies and while I was filming it and then after I uploaded it and people left from comments I did realise that my collection was pretty poor basically uh, and most of them are on DVD. So the last 12 months what I've been doing, I've been sort of beefing it up a bit. I picked up some new Christmas movies, I've also upgraded from DVD a lot of them to Blu-ray, not all of them but most of them. And a couple of YouTubers were kind enough to send me some Christmas movies as well. So thank you very much to them. Uh, in the day that they sent me them, I did say thank you very much. So you know who you are. Okay, first off, I'm going to start with uh, four movies which are sort of a bit controversial because some people don't consider them, you know, 100% Christmas movies. But I'm not going, not going to get into any arguments or anything. I'm just going to show these movies off as if they were Christmas movies. But if you don't think that they're Christmas movies... That's your opinion, and, I, and there's no problem with that. Okay, so the first one is Batman Returns. Okay, this is actually the double feature, Batman and Batman Returns, but I'm talking about Batman Returns because it's set around Christmas, and a lot of snow and things like that, so uh, I suppose technically it is a Christmas movie, uh, but yeah, as I said, not going to get into that. So that's Batman Returns. The next one is one of my favourite movies, which is Edward Scissorhands, and once again, some people don't consider it a Christmas movie, but it does happen around Christmas, and once again, very cold and lots of snow, Christmas decorations and things like that. So yeah, great film with uh, Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder, Tim Burton movie. Okay, next one, uh, Gremlins. And once again, the same thing. Some people don't consider it a Christmas movie, but it happens at Christmas, very cold, a lot of snow, a lot of decorations and things like that. So that's Gremlins, a really great film uh, by Joe Dante, I think the director is, but Steven Spielberg had a lot of you know influence in this movie. A uh, great movie, which I've seen many, many times. And since I was a child, absolutely loved. And the last one of these sort of controversial movies, is probably the most controversial, which I hear a lot of people arguing about, uh, is Die Hard. Uh, this is actually the five movie set, but I'm talking about the first one. So yeah, it's set at Christmas and the actual, sort of the backstory of the movie happens while they're at a Christmas party. And there are a lot of sort of, uh, you know, a lot of scenes in the films that are, you know, Christmas related. So I suppose you can consider it a Christmas movie, but some people don't. So take it as you will, but that's Die Hard. Okay, so those are the four movies that some people might complain about or write comments about, so there you go. And now we're going to get into the sort of 100% Christmas fun movies. Uh, the first one is actually a bit different to a normal Christmas movie. It's Bad Santa. Definitely a different style of Christmas movie, but one I've seen many times and absolutely love. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton knocks it out of the park with his performance. Uh, I haven't seen the second one. I know there's a sequel. I haven't seen it, but I will have to pick it up and give it a watch. But yeah, that's Bad Santa. If you haven't seen that and you like sort of a, sort of a different style of Christmas movie, a lot of fun uh, with some innuendos, definitely check out Bad Santa. Okay, next one. One of my favourite actors, Will Ferrell in Elf. Uh, one of these uh, movies that I call a stupid movie because it's like a stupid comedy that a lot of people don't like at all. They just think it's a waste of time. But it's one of these things that, one of these movies that really actually makes me laugh. And if you just sort of take it with a pinch of salt and... Uh, sit back and enjoy. It's a great movie and as always a great performance from Will Ferrell. So it's a funny guy. Okay, one of the most iconic Christmas movies here and that's Home Alone star starring Macaulay Culkin. Uh, I've probably seen this a hundred times. I watch it every single year. I will probably watch it on Christmas Eve with my wife. Uh, not much to say about Home Alone. Absolutely amazing. Uh, I've never seen any other sequels. So there you go. Okay, uh, Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase. Uh, this is a bit strange, this movie, because I didn't have it last year. And people said, you've got to pick up Christmas Vacation. It's the, such an authentic, uh, you know, special Christmas movie and things like that. And I had seen it when I was a kid, and I remember really enjoying it. And I picked it up uh, because I wanted to beef up my collection. Watched it, did enjoy it, but it wasn't the same as, you know, watching it when I was a kid. I, I didn't find it as, you know, as funny. I didn't find it as, as good. It's still a good movie, glad I have it in my collection, and one that I will be watching again, but yeah. I don't know, sometimes you watch a movie when you're a kid and you think it's something, you know, you think something about it, and then you watch it many years later when you're an adult, and 
sort of doesn't live up to your expectations as you know when you're a kid. But that's no problem. Okay, another iconic Christmas movie and one that I hadn't seen ever until I picked it up this year and really enjoyed it and that's It's a Wonderful Life. I actually picked this up uh, on a special sort of edition with a slipcase, with all editions, some extras. And I watched it with my wife and such a beautiful movie. If you haven't seen this, definitely check it out. I actually watched it once, uh, then I watched the extras and then the weekend after I rewatched it again. Uh, yeah, such a special Christmas movie and one that people should uh, you know watch a lot having said that it's not for me a hundred percent christmas you know there's it's not like one of these sort of christmas movies that the whole film was based on the idea of christmas but yeah an amazing movie okay next one is actually a horror movie a horror christmas movie which is and one that i really enjoyed some people won't sort of enjoy this because they want to keep you know christmas as something happy and and things like that but yeah that's Krampus I know there are a lot of versions of this sort of movie or this uh, you know sort of character in the Christmas history tales uh, but yeah this one I really enjoyed quite scary also a lot of fun really good special effects and yeah just enjoyed it so watch uh, watch this if you can this is Krampus okay next one is Love Actually this for me is also more of a sort of romantic comedy, but it is, you know, also about Christmas and Christmas time and, you know, family and things like that. And one that I really, really enjoy as well, a typical British uh, romantic comedy. And that's uh, so a great cast, uh, a lot of fun, and just one that you can watch over and over again and never get bored with. So that's Love Actually. Okay, the next one, The Nightmare Before Christmas. So, you know, some people class this as a Halloween movie, other people as a Christmas movie, other people as both. I would say it has to be both, but yeah, really, really beautiful stop motion animated movie uh, from Tim Burton and one that I have seen many, many times. I actually have it up here behind me in Steelbook Edition, don't know where, uh, because yeah, it's one of my favourite animated movies and I love stop motion and this is done so well. And the songs in this are amazing. You know, Even if you're not a kid, you can just sing along and have some great fun. So yeah, Jack Skellington. Okay, this movie, a lot of people have told me they didn't really enjoy it. But I think it's one of my favourite Christmas movies and it's also an animated movie. It stars Tom Hanks since the Polar Express. But last year I showed this off. I had it on DVD so this year I've upgraded it to Blu-ray. But a lot of people in the comments said that they didn't really enjoy Polar Express. and So I don't know why because I do enjoy it. I think it's a great movie and Tom Hanks knocks out that park. Sort of. He's most of the characters in the movie doing different voiceovers and things like that. And the animation is great and it's just 100% Christmas. So yeah, I really enjoy the Polar Express but... Some people, at least watching my videos, weren't sort of fans of that. Okay, the next movie is actually out of my wife's Christmas, uh, well, out of my wife's movie collection, so I don't know if I can count it as my movie collection. But I'm going to do it anyway because she keeps them on my shelves. And that's The Holiday, and I have to admit, I really do enjoy this movie. Four great protagonists uh, about uh, two women who are, who are a bit fed up with their lives for different reasons and they did, decide to do a house swap. One goes from the United States, I think it's California, LA, and then they go to, they go to, uh, I don't remember the neighborhood or the area, it's just outside London. Can't remember, but anyway, they do a house swap and they sort of celebrate Christmas in different ways than they used to and then they all sort of come together at the end of the movie. It's just a really good uh, heartfelt movie and uh, you know also a romantic comedy but yeah definitely a Christmas movie and one that I've seen many times and do enjoy and I love Jack Black and he plays a different character in this and he does it really well and uh, yeah good okay and last but definitely not least is a movie that's actually very special to me first off it was brought out or it was filmed in 1984 which is the year I was born and then secondly a lot of the film was actually filmed in my hometown and this is George she's George C. Scott's uh, Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. So I know there are a lot of versions of this, but this is the Charles, uh, the George C. Scott, sorry, uh, version of the Charles Dickens uh, novel. Uh, yeah, it's a sort of all the type of Christmas movie, but I think it's a, you know really, as I've said many times in the video, 100% Christmassy. And as I said, yeah, there are a lot of scenes that are filmed in my hometown, so that's actually nice. And it was made the year I was born, so it's as old as I am. So that's the last one and probably the, the most classic in my collection. So there you go guys, uh, hopefully the video hasn't gone on too long. Leave a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't and please leave some comments down below. Give me any recommendations for Christmas movies that I don't have that I should pick up. And just let me know what you thought of my uh, Christmas movie collection. 
So once again, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great day and also a Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.